Good morning, everyone. Welcome to morning prayer. It's uh, Friday, coming to the end of the week, and it's uh, the 4th of December, so the fourth day of Advent. It's great to be with you. Um, and as usual, we'll just spend a moment uh, making sure that everybody um, has a chance to join us um, and we will um, check our uh, check sound and everything. Make sure you can hear me. I'm faded up, which is great. So good morning, Mark, and good morning, all of you, as you join in this morning. Um, you'll notice, I don't know whether you can see reflections, we're starting to get a few decorations up here. Um, and I'm continuing with, uh, with my Christmas jumpers. I'm really hoping that some of you are in Christmas jumpers as well, um, so, so that I'm not on my own. But um, I'm going to continue with the Christmas jumpers all the way through, I think, all the way through Advent. I know it's not quite Christmas season yet, it's Advent really, but it's got to be done, hasn't it? So we're going we're gonna to carry on with that. Um, this morning we will be reading um, in Psalms, we're going to be reading Psalm 25. Um, and we're continuing, we're coming to the end of the book of Revelation now. Um, but it's, uh, we're now at chapter 21 starting at verse 22 and we're going to just sneak into chapter 22 to verse 5 as well so we'll be doing that um, and as we pray this morning please do uh, share the names of people and places and situations that you would like us to pray for collectively and we will do that uh, during our time of intercession so I'm warming my hands on the, the tea this morning I think hope you've all got a cuppa uh, with you as we pray um, and I'll just take a quick sip of that and then we will begin our time of prayer. So let's have a moment of silence and sipping as we prepare ourselves for prayer today. So let's say together, the Lord is good, a strong refuge when the trouble comes. God is close to those who trust in him. And Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all. To you be praise and glory forever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God forever, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. So as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And so our first reading is from uh, the book of Psalms, and it's Psalm 25 this morning. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Let me not put to shame and be put to shame. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Let none who look to you be put to shame and let the treacherous be shamed and frustrated. Make me to know your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you have I hoped all the day long. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions, but think on me in your goodness, O Lord, according to your steadfast love. Gracious and upright is the Lord. Therefore, 
shall he teach the sinners in the way. He will guide the humble in doing right and teach his way to the lowly. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth to those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, be merciful to my sin, for it is great. Who are those who fear the Lord? Them will he teach in the way that they should choose their soul that dwelt at ease, and their offspring shall inherit the land. The hidden purpose of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever looking to the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am alone and brought very low. The sorrows of my heart have increased. I'll bring me out of my distress. Look upon my adversity and misery and forgive all my sin. Look upon my enemies, for they are many and they bear a violent hatred against me. I keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have, be, for I have put my trust in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for my hope has been in you. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. And so we pray this prayer which follows this psalm. Free us, God of mercy, from all that keeps us from you. Relieve the misery of the anxious and the ashamed and fill us with the hope of peace, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And so our second reading is from the book of Revelation, and we are continuing um, in chapter 21. So if you would like to find that, it's chapter 21, uh, starting at verse 22 and, and carrying on into, verse, in, into chapter 22, sorry, uh, up to verse 5. So we read, I did not see a temple in the city, because the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. The city does not need the sun or the moon to shine on it, the glory of God gives it light, and the lamp, the lamb is its lamp. The nations will walk by its light, and the kings of the earth will bring their splendour into it. On no day will its gates ever be shut, for there will be no light there, and no night there. The glory and honour of the nations will be brought into it. Nothing impure will ever enter it nor will anyone who does what is shameful or deceitful, but only those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, as clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb down the middle of the great street of the city. On each side of the river stood the tree of life, bearing twelve crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree of the healing of the nations. No longer will there be any curse. The throne of God and of the Lamb will be in the city, and his servants will serve him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun, for the Lord God will give them light, and they will reign for ever and ever. And our responsory today and for Advent. Now it is time to wake out of sleep, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed. 
for the night is far spent. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light, for the day is at hand. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Amen. And so we come to our time of intercession. So please do, if as usual, share uh, in the comments any prayer requests that you have. And if you've never joined us before, then please do feel uh, free to, to share anything that you're concerned about for yourself or for others. And we will pray together uh, this morning uh, for that. And so we pray, almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so we pray, Lord God, at this time, beginning of Advent as we prepare for your coming at Christmas. We pray for friends and family in our local community. We pray for those in our church, whether they be people that we would normally see in a church building or our church community now around our area, around the country and around the world. We pray for all of our needs and we pray in particular this morning for Adrian, for Clive, Yvonne and Pat. We pray for all those working for the NHS in care homes and all key workers. We pray for all those in particular who at this time are going out despite not wanting to risk their health or the health of their loved ones but continue to work to support and care for others. We pray for Meg and Raphael for Sue, Andrew, Kate, Archie, Maya, Kelly and Josh. And we pray for all those who we know are struggling at the moment with loneliness, anxiety, and isolation. We pray particularly this morning for David, who is in isolation in hospital. And we pray for our local NHS. We pray for those frontline staff at Russell's Hall and for those who now have COVID symptoms. We pray that you will bless and support all of those who have COVID at this time or are recovering and for those who are supporting them. We pray for those at this time who, because of restrictions, are struggling to make ends meet. We pray that you will guide us to know the best way to support and make provision for those who have been unfairly restricted. And so, Lord God, we commend ourselves and all those who we pray for today to your mercy and protection. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy 
in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And so we pray also uh, a prayer of healing for Kate, Kathleen, Martin and Mark. We pray that you will bless them and all those who we know need your support today. You know their needs and what needs to be done. Help us to discern how to help. Amen. So we pray our collect for the day. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light now in the time of this mortal life in which your son Jesus Christ came to us in great humility that on the last day when we shall come again in his glory and his majesty to judge the living and the dead we may rise to the life immortal through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God now and forever Amen And so awaiting his coming in glory, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray the Lord's Prayer in whatever form you feel most comfortable. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So may the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. So bless you all. I hope you have a wonderful day and um, you will continue to enjoy this Advent period. And uh, I shall be seeing you soon. So God bless you and go well. <laughs>